Welcome back, everybody. Two bonus points. Um, let's see. I think the last few videos I put up were Resident Evil 4. Um, I'm basically gonna get I'm gonna get off of Resident Evil 4 for right now. We're gonna play Earthbound. Uh, Earthbound is one of my favorite uh, Nintendo games. This I like this part. It just it kind of reminds me of like an old school sci-fi movie, you know. Um, Earthbound is one of my favorite games. Uh, it came out, it came out like mid nineties and, um, didn't do that well over, over the United States. It, I think it did okay in Japan. Um, and then they, they did mother three, which was the sequel to this game, but, uh, it never showed up to, uh, the United States, but they're talking about bringing it over here, uh, <clears throat> I'm hoping they'll put it on the Switch. That'd be awesome. Anyways, uh, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna start a new game. Text speed. Wait, text speed. Let's do fast text speed. <clears throat> yada yada. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's go mint. Okay. Uh, this guy. We will name him. Um, Daryl. <laughs> Just for the hell of it. If I could spell, holy crap, couldn't find the R. Um, huh. okay, we'll name her, um, uh, <laughs> what should we name her? Um, you know what? Here, let's just don't care. All right, let's we'll call her Paula. Screw it. That's her name anyway. Uh, this guy, let's call him Benny. Her, screw it. Let's just call him. Wait, no, we can do it. Yeah, call him Benny. And uh, let's see our karate master here. <laughs> uh, don't care, don't care. <laughs> let's call him Kato. Screw it. That's amazing. Uh, dog don't care. Peach, Sparky, Rex, Rover, King. Let's go with King. Um, favorite food? No, no, no. Oh my god, this is half the fun. Okay, I say it's half the fun. Uh, <laughs> rockin'. We'll just use that, it's just easier to remember. Yep. <clears throat> Alright. So, this game is very... Oh man, it's, it's so much fun. It's it's like, it's an RPG, but it's more of like a, it's a modern day. You know, because like some of the ones, some of the RPGs you play, like Final Fantasy... Three, I think, on Super Nintendo is another one of my favorite RPGs, but it's definitely like kind of that old school, uh, you know, like the items and stuff, you know, potions and stuff. Like here, it's they use stuff uh, like burgers, pizza, cold medicine, uh, that kind of thing to heal all your characters up. Um, anyways, so the start of this game, your character Ness, who is me but we called him Daryl um Ness is the main character or in this case Daryl uh Daryl's the main character and uh meteor meteor hits the earth right about now okay now now there we go all right so we get up my god look at that hair <laughs> What was that noise? Daryl, don't you seem scared? Are you nuts? And now you want to go check it out. Okay. You'll sneak out of your room anyway, even if I asked you not to. At least change out of your jammies. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Mom. Alright. Anyways. 
Well, to, I'm gonna have to look it up later, but I think Ness is like, uh, I think Ness is like a teenager. He's like 13 or 14, I think. Like, I, I'll have to, I'll have to look it up. Wait a minute. I'm a dope. I almost forgot. Some. I think I can go out there. <clears throat> You can go talk to my sister. Yeah, here we go. Hey, bro, did the sound wake you up? Were you freaked out? Huh. All right, great talking to you, check. All right, cool. Yeah, we need this. Okay, so, equip, weapon, cracked bat. Okay, cracked bat's gonna kinda halfway get us out of some trouble. I feel like, hold on. Sorry, I know I keep going back and forth a lot. Okay, what was that noise? You don't seem scared. Of, okay. I took the dog with me. Okay. All right, now I guess we walk out the door. I thought there was, maybe, and that might be later. I thought there was something that we, uh, we had to do to trigger talking to, uh, talking to our dad. Dad's like one of my favorite characters in this game. Oops. I'm going the complete wrong way, I think. I need to go down over here. <laughs> uh I'll see. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to look some stuff up about this game, like some facts or something, you know. Cause I know there are some. There's it's uh, like I said, this game is, is unique all of its own. It's it's all its own. Uh I mean it's uh you know, i I just remember, I think I like dabbled with it a little bit when I was younger, but I really just wasn't into RPGs and stuff when I was younger. I was more into uh, like Zelda, Mario, those kind of games, Donkey Kong, um, this guy. Ugh. Ugh. I almost told you about my, uh, uh, by the way, Daryl, did you check out my billboard or wrote a message myself? That's my real job. I'm the billboard guy. <laughs> really? You mean to tell me on it just has a dude that they pay to do billboards? Like, no, there's no freaking way. Freaking pokey. This kid's a real prick. I'm not going to lie. He's like the entire game. You're going to like, you kind of wish that you could, uh, drag him out of the game and kick the ever loving shit out of him. Uh, but you can't. Clear out, get out of my way. Clear out, get out of my way. Clear out, get out of my way. Clear out, out of, of way. I'll get my, whoops. <laughs> yeah, my way. Shh, shh. <laughs> okay, dude. Nice timing, Daryl. We do something about pokey. He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? No, kid's a prick. <laughs> You're not friends, but you aren't, but aren't you neighbors? Yeah, no, he's kind of a douche. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I pokey will tell you more about Strange Meteor. I'm fine here, but you, but you're bugging the office. I oh my god. <laughs> you know what? If I hit him with my cracked bat now, that would just save me a shitload of problems. But then it's like, but then we don't have a game if you do that. It's like, yeah, I know. But I mean, where's the fun? All right, screw it. I'm just gonna go home. I mean, shit. <laughs> I definitely like the uh, the graphics in this game. I mean, it's uh, uh, it's one of the, I don't know. It's one of those things. It's uh, the game is just so it's so fun to look at, and you know, it's late. Scoot off to bed now. Okay. Um, you know, just uh, the characters in general, uh, the the non-playable ones and your party and that kind of thing there it's all the the world is very well done and laid out like the the further we get into the game i think the better it gets um when we get to uh four side 
That's one of my favorite parts of the game. Foresight's fun. Uh, huh. Oh my god. Get out of my house. I was sleeping, you piece of shit. <laughs> when I took Picky to the place where the meteorite landed, oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual. Oh my god. Get out of my house. Get out of my damn house. Had to deal with the sharks. You know the sharks? They're the local ruffians. <laughs> the hooligans. And they were really going wild. Suddenly I noticed Picky was gone. I blame the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad's back, I know I'm gonna get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me find Picky? No, fuck you. <laughs> if you refuse me something, I'll cut you. I'll say something that'll cut you like a knife. Okay, I'm sorry. I was like, geez, this shit just got vile. I'll hit you with my cracked bat, bitch. Okay, buddy, let's blow this popsicle stand. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree? Why don't you eat a dick? Alright, I already got the cracked bat. You're my, you're my very own natural born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it. But I think you should change out of your jammies. Again with calm, my PJ's jammies, mom. Come on. Get with the times. Alright. Oh, let's talk to... I'll do everything I can to help you. Good luck on your adventure. And, like, here's a cookie. So, like, the more you go on with this game, do you want me to hang on to something? No, not right now, anyway. The more you, the more you go on with this game, the better it gets. Like, so there's stuff about your character, like, for instance, Ness can get homesick. If Ness gets homesick, uh, and like, if it's in a fight, you are screwed. Okay, and there's Dad. Um. Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard a weird saying like that? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, deposit $30 in your bank. Do you have Do you have your ATM card? Withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> What? Well, the father of hero, at least. Blah. Slam peep. All right, cool. Let's go. King, are you coming? Do you want me to go? With yeah, come on, dude. I think you just walk out without him, but I mean, you might as well take him with you. Uh, anyways, Ness can get homesick. I mean, screw it. Let's let's go ahead and start the the leveling process here. Um. Ness can get homesick, and if it's in a fight, it's terrible. But uh, all you have to do, like, you just call your mom, and that just goes away, which is cool. Um, Pokey played dead, so he, okay. Um, Ness has, if Ness has a bat, he has the uh, the smash attack, and smash attacks will help you like uh, incredibly. And I think the more, if I remember right, I think it's the more you level Ness's guts up. Uh, the more sm like the more likely you are to get a smash attack. Holy hell! Okay, this is something I'm gonna try to uh, avoid. Um, I really want to try. If I, I, you're gonna, we're gonna have to level up as as we go on with the game. Um, so I'm really gonna try as hard as I can to level up uh, off screen. Uh, you know, just basically do all my grinding there. Do not under and don't don't let anything come up behind you. Always try to turn around if something's coming behind you. Uh, if it if it catches you in the back, if it catches you in the back and it, your screen will turn red. If your screen turns red, that means they get the they get the first hit on you. Um. If it's gray, that means it's neutral. I think that usually means you get the first hit, maybe. Um, and if it turns green, if you get the jump on them first, that means you get the first hit, and that's that's usually good. That's what you want. Um, so, yeah, there's nothing we can really do here. We're going to have to... Okay, this is about dead, so no. Okay, 
cool. No! Hit him! Alright. Um. Let's see what else. Oh, um, the more enemies you defeat and the more, t like, the more enemies you defeat, the bigger enemy is that kind of thing. Uh, your dad's, he just, he, like, you get money for, for all the enemies you beat. I didn't want him coming up behind me. Um, but anyways, like, and, and I've seen times when I didn't need anything really because my my party all their stuff was full and it was all stuff I needed and uh, all the uh, like all my slots were all full so hey I'm a level three um, and like when I went to go uh, call my dad he was like oh I deposited like five hundred dollars I'm like holy shit all right cool <laughs> ah come on talk to sign guy I don't want to do that there's uh, Pokey's little brother. Uh, oh, and then there's... Um, <laughs> I wouldn't have come along. Uh, King runs away. <laughs> Thought you were, you know, a brave dog. Okay. Um, there's also... Whoa. Uh, oh, you woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad you're, here. you're okay, at least. Let's go home now. I bet mom and dad are worried sick about us. Sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. <laughs> Picky joins you, and they're both a bunch of pansies. Daryl, do you hear that buzzing sound? You just say yes. And this is uh, Buzz Buzz. You're about to like you're about to just learn pretty much the premise of this game. A B I am not. If oh, I'm ten years. I'm from ten years in the future, and in the future, all is devastation. Gygus, the universal cosmic destroyer, sent all to sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. <laughs> I've, I feel like I've heard that before. Uh, the passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you ugh, that you are that boy, Daryl. This I believe. Gygus Monster's plan must have uh Gygus Monster's plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gygus. Three things are of the utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. The legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gygus. I will tell you more later. But go now and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Daryl. Did you listen to what I told you? Yes. Make sure you answer that question wisely or he will tell you the whole damn story over again. Alright, anyways. Basically what he just said to you is that you are, uh, you are the, uh, you're the one. You're Neo. You're the Neo <laughs> of uh, you're the Neo of the uh, of the story. You're the one. You're gonna take down uh, Gygus, and you're you're gonna be the the champion of the people. Um. Anyways, uh. And okay, so I'm sorry. I keep getting off subject because I keep trying to read the titles, which I know I need to. Uh, I need to make sure I read everything. Uh, you know, or else I'm gonna I'm gonna miss something, and then it's like, oh, I'm an idiot. Here's a Starman. <laughs> it's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You have been successful at foiling Master Gaga's plans, but Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, just a useless instinct. I will stomp you hard. He's gonna ruffle stomp me. Alright, Starman Jr. Starman Jr.'s are assholes. Alright, bash him. Ooh, Buzz Buzz used a shield. Uh, she could have just used the shield on. or he, I guess. The bug could have just used the shield on him and me, and that would have been fine. Mostly because, you know, um... Uh, fuck Pokey and Piggy. Fuck him. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, come on. Um. But uh, your sister, your sister will go to end up and work at this uh this place that will pick up items for you. So if you have just stuff sitting in your inventory that you don't use, um, you can call her. And I'm trying to think. I think it's S Cargo Express, if I remember right. Um. But she'll uh, she'll call you, or you'll call her, and she'll send somebody over there, and they'll take up to three items at a time for a price. So always remember that you need money. He came from ten years in the future to kill me, so we can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gygus, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent due to Gygus' influence over their minds, over the evil in their minds. It is the truth, so listen. Listen! Let's see, I think we gotta go over to these douchebags' house first. Uh, anyways, so that's that's kind of a cool thing. Like, they'll pick up items for you and... And, uh, you know, just get stuff out of your inventory. So, like, all the non-playable characters... Some of the non-playable characters are here to... They play uh, separate roles in the game, which I, I think is really cool. Um, you know... Uh, sorry my boys trouble you so much. Both of you are really going to get it now. Oh my god. <laughs> he, that dude just totally beat the shit out of his kids. <laughs> By the way, I would be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family. They're living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been $100,000 or more. Well, I guess it really could have been less. But because of my loan, my family and I now live in poverty. My husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guys finished last. That's the story of our life. Wow. <laughs> it's basically the dad's a douche, the mom's a bitch. Alright, cool. And she just killed Buzz Buzz. <laughs> Buzz Buzz was like the navy of the game. I think she was gonna I think he was gonna help me. Somebody tell me, is is Buzz Buzz a boy or a girl? Because I don't know. I don't want to call it she and it's a he and I don't want to call it he and it's a she. I mean, come on. Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. To defeat Gygus, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each spot, each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near on it. It's called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? Yes. All right. You are a very intelligent young man, and oh, the pain, everything is getting dark. <laughs> Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It is the soundstone. You can record the melodies from your eight sanctuaries, from your from the eight your lo, your sanctuary locations. Into this into this stone. It is an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone, but do you want to hear No, I'm good. <laughs> good. Yeah, thank you. It's already dawn outside, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. <laughs> Daryl got soundstone. All right, Buzz Buzz is gone, and we are out of here. So, okay, and the soundtrack to this game is um, is awesome. But this is my favorite song. Do 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 do. Oh, dude, yeah, Fuzzy Pickles guy. Um, this dude will randomly show up in in places and will take your photo. Um, so you know you have to let him, and like it's really cool. Huh, say Fuzzy Pickles. Ah, peace. <laughs> wow, what a wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. <laughs> okay. Um, that being said, we're going to come in here. First, I'm going to talk to mom. You're back. Don't bother yourself now. You look tired. Mother's not understand these things. Eat some tacos and scoot up to bed. <laughs> okay. I wanted to, uh, eat, eat, sleep. And the last thing we're going to do, because I'm getting ready to call it here. Uh, last thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna go over here and save. So, we'll just, we'll call dad. Daryl, it's your dad. I deposited $39 into your bank account. 
taking away what you spent, you should now have sixty-nine dollars in your bank. <laughs> what's your fa what's your favorite uh, what's your favorite number? Sixty-nine, dude. Uh, anyway, what do you need from me to record? All done. Your dear old dad was thinking about hitting the hay for the night. I have created a record of your adventure to this point. Good night and sleep tight. I'm just gonna hit continue. Just like your mother, but I don't think it's good to work too hard. All right. All right, guys, so next time, um, we're going to go to on it and, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna take on the sharks and we're gonna try to get our first soundstone, uh, sanctuary spot recorded. So next time, later.